Hey guys, this is Abhay Sharma and in this video I'm going to talk about everything nodes project which is going to be implemented in Blender in future. So Blender will become like Houdini or something. I don't know but it is very very exciting stuff. So recently Jax Luke aka Animation Nodes developer worked on everything nodes project prototype and he probably be working on this project full time soon. So very exciting stuff. Sorry for the noise in the background, it is raining outside. I was waiting it to stop, but it seems like it's not gonna stop anytime soon. So I'm moving on. So a couple of days ago, I uploaded a video of everything nodes, particle nodes project, which is remember just a prototype, which means it's not going to look exactly like this. Uh, it might end up in something completely different, but still you can imagine how it's gonna look like. So let's see how you can install it and then, we'll, then we will play with this uh, in Blender. So let's go and open a browser. So I'm going to open a browser. Yeah, it is Brave browser. And let's copy the link. I have given the link in the description. You can find it. And just go there. And we're going to download the uh, zip file so just click on this clone or download button and download zip and I'm going to do I'm going to download the in the downloads folder so save that and it should be pretty quick let's go into my downloads and here it is so one thing you have to do before you install this add-on in the blender is um, you have to remove this uh, this hyphen master word from it and also go into the zip file and we also going to remove it from the folder as well so something like this and now it's ready to install but you're going to need the latest version of experimental version of blender so for that let's go into let's go and find blender.org and we go there and here uh, go to downloads and we have to download the latest experimental builds click on that and I'm, I'm using Windows so I will uh, install the Windows version and I'm going to install the 2.79 so I will use this and I'm using the old compiler uh, I don't know about the new compiler but this uh, works on this one and now you just download it uh, you don't have to install it because it's a zip file everything is there you just have to run the uh, blender exe file and it will open and I, I have already did that so I'm going to open that folder I have multiple versions of blender installed so let's open it and now so we have blender now we're going to install this add-on so go to the preferences user preferences and then we click on the install add-on from file and let's go where we have downloaded it so it's in my downloads folder and uh, click on that everything nodes prototype and just click install add-on from file and we have to activate it so just check this and they say this script was written blender version 2.8 i think it works in 2.8 as well you have to check it uh, i don't know <clears throat> okay so we have uh, installed it so let's save this and now if you go into your uh, compositing layout or you open your compositing window you will see you have a couple of modes added so there is a particle no there is a particle mode there is an action mode and there is a flow mode i don't know about these things but i i i am going to demonstrate uh, the particle node so we are going to switch to particle mode and now if you go if you open the sidebar uh, you will see the simulate button but before that you have to click you have to create a tree so just click on the new button and you will see we have a tab everything nodes and we have a button simulate for particle system 
I'm going to delete this cube so let's go and create the particle system so to do that you go into the add menu and create a particle type and then you can create a point emitter and just connect the emitter to emitter and now if you hit the simulate button you will see we are emitting particles in our 3d window and now you can uh, so you can see it's just going into the x axis x direction uh, let's if you want to stop it just hit the escape key and it will stop and uh, then you have other options you have so many actually nodes here to play with uh, for example we have uh, like change direction so we can go and connect the change direction to on birth Uh, select which kind of uh, direction you want you want to randomize the uh, direction or you want to set it in a specific direction so uh, let's say I want to set this into the Z direction so I go into the uh, menu and select set and then let's give a just give one value so to enable uh, particles to go into Z direction just have to enter one and it will activate the z, z direction now if i hit simulate you will see our particles our particles are moving in the z direction okay and uh, you can also use the randomize to randomize the uh, why did it stop okay so let's uh, hit simulate again you can see that it's uh, particles are uh, emitting in all direction basically so and then you can go and add other particle nodes like you can change color if you want so connect that let's change this to something like this hit escape simulate and now my particles are blue i can also set this color based on a uh, like uh, when particles uh, particle age is uh, uh, greater than 10 or something so let's delete that and i'm going into the okay so create a age trigger and we can connect it here and then we can say when my particles uh, reaches uh, age of like say this, this I think this is in seconds so let's set this to 2 so after 2 seconds uh, my particles color will change to something uh, like this so connect that and let's make this red or something now if I hit simulate you will see after 3 seconds these particles will change its color to uh, red all right now so basically you get the idea of how these things actually work uh, you can also use uh, forces if you want so if you go and create like gravity uh, sorry not here you have to connect it to the modifier just remember the just look for the you know uh, color codes and gravity is just a force just just a directional force actually so if i hit simulate my particles should go down if i change this to positive direction so these are all going up so uh i think it does not have uh, position is just direction okay so the basically gravity is just a force that we experience um, on earth on human scale so it's uh, it's just a directional force doesn't matter where you place it in your 3d scene just like uh, directional lights and you also have attract which is a point force so a simulate and let's move it somewhere in the x-axis and now if I hit simulate you can see it should be attracted let's increase the strength you can see it's attracted towards a certain point in the x-direction and this is more like gravity you know if you are talking about the scale of uh, planets or stars or black holes you know so if you want to import the 
position of a certain empty which you want to use it as a uh, force position in 3D space you can do that so let me create an empty object uh, let's create a cube and let's move it somewhere here and then I can go and import that using object transform so select the object and connect the location to center and now if, yeah, if I hit simulate I can play with that uh, you can change the number of particles emitted per second I guess so simulate and this is just fun amazing alright guys so thank you so much for watching and uh, you see how this thing works it's very fun to work with see you in the next video have fun